Hello, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing hardball. So, we had another little mob up. And now it's Gisela's turn to help the people and our fleet with the Chilium support. <clears throat> so let's see what happens. That is a special mission, special secondary mission. Um, but I think we can be confident. Now what's happening? Seven ships. Okay, well, but let's be careful. This is, is it there? No, or is it? Yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah. So we should be, be uh, between. We should, of course, be between these guys. However, let's be careful. Certainly not the battle style in the front. So you guys go there. Now what's going on? So, there we go. You go there. You go back here. And you guys go there. So like this. There we go. Or may maybe let's do it like this. Or like so. They are all pretty good teams now. Or by now. Our guys. So like this, everything fine over here, yes, 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 let's proceed, Gisela, but it will be some time. Fleet group is jumping in, three, two, one. Thanks, Helena, uh, that we can actually bring some more ships to the system. Hostile Dreadus contacts all over the refinery and there's no local forces present. You'd better hurry, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We are actually just relaxed here. Uh, let's be defensive. Although this is like not our top-notch fleet. So say we all. Um, it's fine. So let's go here. Like so. Yeah. They have 160 hit points. So say we all. Fly like so. Oh, well, actually, Understood. I think we should rather go come from the left because that might draw them also away, right? So let's go like this. So say we all. And then. Guys, launching Launch fighters squadrons. So there we go. We actually we don't have so super, like so not a super amount uh, of fighters in this fleet. So I like it actually better to have more frigates and only one manticore. Yeah. And what I just wanted to say, it will be some time, uh, but it's actually, it will be sooner rather than later because we only need one, one more fleet uh, in the, what is it actually, the beta system or the alpha system where Caprica and Picon are. Um, oh yeah, there we go. So you guys, let's shoot this here. But let's draw them away. Yes, Commander. Well, you guys. Understood. Fly like so, and you will be the rally point for the Vipers. The Magaliusburg. And I think we can just uh, fly straight ahead. Let's concentrate all missiles on that guy over there. Go 
coming high. Bearing this out. You guys. Yes, sir. Fly like there. Also shooting your missiles, and that actually, I think that should be enough to explode this nemesis. And I feel that we will only see Nemesis and Talons over there, but let's see. Eh? Eh? So let's end the turn. Yeah. Yeah. So three Talons there. Something else. Okay. And you guys fly around. Oh, that's actually. We have war drivers again. That's interesting, actually. That is certainly interesting. Let's shoot at the war, war driver. So you guys now go on the attack. Um. But let's let's keep our F turrets there. Like this, right? And you guys you can also shoot at the war driver. And I think we could could and should get closer. So yes, sir. Like so and actually Yeah. Just in case they actually fly forward a lot. But we are not in range yet, I think. I'm rather sure. So but say this we will all. be a very nasty hacking situation, I guess. Also, I wonder what happens if our Vipers are actually flying into the field. That is most likely something we don't really want to find out. Yeah, and now it's the gamble. So maybe let's have one Viper squadron defend these guys here, the Jaguar, just in case, because this guy could also shoot missiles at these here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Missiles yeah. incoming! Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, all, oh my goodness. What a great shot of this guy. All torpedoes hit us, very bad. Our right side is completely open now, so let's get out of there. Flying like so. Guys, yeah, they are out of the fight now. Yeah, I think actually that you guys need to fly forward. Oh, the war drivers, yeah. Okay, then. Well, what are you guys doing? There are so many missiles coming in. Uh, where are the missiles coming from, so many? Are the war drivers also firing missiles? I didn't see it. It looks like it, right? Yeah, it looks like the missile came from the war driver. Oh, okay. So, that's actually not so good. So that actually, that was a complete failure. On behalf of our Viper pilots, because uh, like two squadrons were supposed to be at, uh, at the Magaliusburg. Well then. That was really not good, so let's defend the Slinger. Yeah, they. I think they are... Are they actually... Front and rear. Well, actually, both are messed up. But well, so you guys, yeah, you keep shooting at the war driver over there. And they are actually inside the cloud, so... Let's hope it is not like in the series that they that their systems are completely offline after a while. And they're just floating in space. And actually, no, you can actually fly yes, sir. like so. And... Let's also concentrate the broadside. The war driver, you guys. Start shooting missiles. And our uh, front artillery. 
for that guy. We've not destroyed anybody yet. That is very uh, irritating. So, and there are two normal yeah, heavy radars coming in. Okay. Not even prototype radars. So that's actually a nasty situation here, you guys. Brace for impact. Yeah, I guess that's the best we can do. You guys. You can possibly shoot at the at the war driver, right? So let's see how that goes. Turn. Uh, did we just hit our our guys? Yeah, we are totally in the line of fire. So that's actually. Oh, we ha we do have a situation here. We actually fly over them. On it, commander. So like this, but the first war driver is destroyed, that's good. The rear is at 11, you guys. Fly like this, oh we do have, oh, 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 no that's not good. So like this then. Yes sir. Oh no, what happens? And then like this, that's better. So. shoot at the war driver and I guess like our top artillery will shoot at the nemesis at least it should our munitions you guys going forward they still shoot at this guy and now you guys need to blow them this year out of the sky before they shoot their next salvo. That's actually a nastier fight than I thought it would be. And there are more missiles coming in. So this is another nemesis. Three talons, one nemesis. Okay, so then I think we have a little bit of time. But you guys rather destroy the nemesis. Or maybe one of you attacks Understood. the war driver before the war driver is actually in range. Yeah, that is not looking good actually. Not as good as I would have hoped. So let's see. Conclusion. Missiles incoming! Yeah, or oh, they come for the Manticore, okay. Yeah, but this guy is now. Yeah, very good. Alright. IFF All right. confirms unit is hostile. Okay, the missiles were a little bit quicker than I thought, and now all our Vipers are out of range to intercept. So we can't really do anything for the guys, but the left side does have yeah, brace for impact. Does have some armor left, yes, so let's just go like so. You guys keep shooting. We do have some problems now because they will they will shoot more torpedoes now. All the more reason to fly uh, as erratic as possible. Firing missiles there. You guys. Now flying forward like so. Focusing fire on that one. That is messy. Very messy. You fire your missiles. There are no actually let's fire missiles at that one. And then we turn in like so. And my hope is that the broadside will shoot at the raiders, but we will focus on this guy. So he goes down quicker in the hopes that not too many uh, torpedoes will hit us but i think this will be as this will be particularly nasty okay then so let's see what happens yeah results coming in there 
Good. Fighter yep, very squadron good. is taking fire. Very good indeed. One driver seems to be down. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yep, the Talon is under fire now. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys, you are fine now. You can turn around and then actually shoot at this guy. Firing munitions. The battle star. Gain yes, some commander. height. Shoots at that guy. You guys concentrate on the talent, what you already did, I guess. And we can just. Uh, I guess the talent will most likely turn in like so, I guess. Or like so. But definitely, oh, so we can just stay here and we'll just pound the guy while well, you turn like so. Present your broadside on that one and you shoot at the nemesis. We don't want any more missiles around. So, and all vipers attack the nemesis as well. Yeah. Blow him out of my sky. Okay, the Manticore down there is under pressure. I actually had hoped that we would. Yeah, I think you guys need to... I mean, it's still fine. And we don't want to provide any... Yeah, we need to still... So let's fly... Oh, then the right side is open though. But let's fly like so. You guys fly a little bit higher. Still a collision. Yeah, they are a bit too quick there. Let's go like so, but that's good. So all enemy missile capability is gone. You guys fly like so. Understood. And you shoot at the Talon. You guys go for the Talon as well. You need to shoot at the Talon and let's do some short range missile barrage over there. Oh, the top. Its top is... Uh, so actually, yeah. Let's rather fly like this. fire missiles yeah so like this huh ending the turn manticore is taking damage that looks actually pretty cool with the missiles oh and now they are out of their target all right you guys Go for that Talon. The Artemis is nearly untouched. Concentrates on these guys. You guys. So say we all. Shoot with your front gun. Yeah, you are pretty messed up, but it's still fine. We're just maneuvering at this point. You guys need to get into the action. I think we need to boost you a bit. Getting like so. Can actually maybe lose some height. Yes, Commander. So like this. Not aiming at anybody particularly. Yeah, and then you guys. You just shoot your broadside, it's the right in front. The top is still at 58. So that's that's actually a waste, but yeah, I mean, need to do something here. So let's do some height. 
yeah well maybe actually we would we could shoot the front or something so all right a turn yeah that's good pounding that looks pretty good yeah it's blowing up very good more collisions now it nearly no it wasn't a triple collision it's fine so now you guys Come forward like so you are still okay, right? Yeah, the front and everything is fine. You shoot this one. You guys turn around like so. Keeping your broadsides on the enemy. Focusing fire there, shooting missiles on this one as well. We are fully in attack mode. You guys come around like so. Focusing fire on that one. You guys are also nearly untouched. Concentrating on fire now. Coming in like this. Shooting missiles. Focusing there. Yeah, you guys just shoot your missile. And then, yeah, actually, let's fly away. Yes, Commander. If you. Oh, the fire control is also messed up, yeah. System repairs Start underway. Repairing the, the armory. Yeah. Guys. Yes, sir. We need that one. Going on with the action. They are shooting, they are concentrating their fire on the mantle cores, yeah. But this guy's under very heavy pressure now, excellent. Pressure that he can't withstand. There we go. It's, it looks like he's actually aiming for us, so maybe the Cylons have actually evolved and evolved their tactics. Ah, but they were actually focusing on the Manticores, that's the thing. So, and you guys. Now boost away like so. And you guys are fine so far, so you can just stay here. And this is just like a turkey shoot at the moment. The grand turkey shoot. Understood guys firing there and the battle star our proud Rainier flying in like so bring them in the broadside and firing missiles as well did you guys already get your orders so like this and then blow them out of Some my sky and quick yeah very good so that was a lot, and even the missiles. Oh, 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 the missiles are. Oh, oh, oh. All marks oh, are uh. down, and the refinery is still online. Well, that's we'll be good. Flying Thanks. A little while longer. Thanks for ending this battle, Helena, before more missiles could actually hit our own ship there. <laughs> that was kind of uh, unfortunate. So, someone forgot to hit the self destruct after the, the last Talon uh, was destroyed. Like the self-destruct for the missiles, of course. So there we go. Our first massive concentrated missile barrage. Yeah. The, the, the Cylons uh, in this, nem uh, in this em nemesis were quite terrified if they have that in their programming. Oh, there's a nice green planet in the background. And we didn't have to bother about all these asteroid fields here. But that's actually nice. It was a nice short up on the radar. Nice. Some more space debris to salvage for some freelancers and entrepreneurs. Very nice crossfire on that last radar there. 
and this guy's also yeah that's that that was our heavy artillery pounding the guy and that's nothing a nemesis could withstand for long there we go it was actually we had a lot of close-up uh, flying here in this mission but that's actually how i would uh, imagine kind of uh, the near dogfight between capital ships or bigger ships like this but that was fine so two tailings left and with uh, four bypass quadrants coming in with the additional crossfire from all our ships here yeah, they only last seconds there we go so and yeah there someone wanted us to see this one again huh okay then that is Gisela that was Gisela another proud victory there that was nice so there we go and then the Montpellier for the chapter mission let's postpone that one so and then oh unless they jump in more we do have our piece here and the crushing victory, our crushing victory is at Helios Alpha at Tauron. Yeah, kept the Cylons away over there, which is actually a good thing. So the Tirana can transfer. And now we do have actually we have we would have had uh, we would have base for another Corvette. Yeah which we don't really need there but it's fine so oh yeah and by the way so now we have uh, the fleet here yeah. no so whenever there is whenever there is an enemy fleet I guess uh, it's not counted as fortified anymore cancel on the governor of Pycon is requesting intervention Cylon fleet has jumped out of our detection range signal analysis estimates they landed in the vicinity of Nossos is that here Oh yeah, okay, so they were they are on their way here now, okay. Oh what's this? Oh yeah, and we have the the Corvette now, okay. Alright, repair the fleet. Oh 250 Tilium. Was it why why was it so expensive before it was just uh 180? Or oh, I guess it's because there's no colony here, huh? Thanatos doesn't have the colony. Although I think that this planet is actually looking pretty interestingly. Like with the yellow and green. Well then, so these guys. I mean, now we actually we have. Uh, yeah, you confirm the jump. We now have actually a war corvette fleet. That would probably be interesting and also pretty bloody uh, if they jump in. Uh, for Nemesis, uh, uh, for Nemesis fleet configuration, but yeah, it's fine. So these guys repair cost of two. That's fine. So now, by the way, so what's our income now? 441. That is pretty decent. You guys also need to repair for 29. That's fine. Ah, oh, yeah, and that was actually. I think that was the uh, the auto resolve, right? 29 trillion points. So I think I could have done it like with zero or like with two points or something. But it saved some time. It's fine. So, all right. This is where we can end this episode, I think. So, uh, yeah. And I mean, we could jump right now, right? For 250, we made some trillion. I still feel we shouldn't waste anything, but I think we could probably do it, right? So this is one more turn for the Artemis here, with the, the Oceanus. Oceanus. Another Corvette over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff queued, so it's fine. So let's do it. We are jumping the ship for 250 trillion. Over there. Confirming. Now it's done. Chatter amongst Cottle's crew says they still can't pin down exactly what the Cylons used in these attacks. 
I think the Cylons explicitly targeted Sagittarian because they expect Colonial Fleet to hesitate before breaking the embargo. They won't expect a quick retaliation. Adjunct ruling on a confiscation operation made it through Corm 20 minutes ago. We've got the green light from Kane to enter Sagittarian space to retrieve samples of the chemicals used in the attacks. All we've got to do now is jump inside the Sagittarian border, hijack the Cylon chemical weapons, and get out before we cause a political disaster. Easy. Well, they will also not expect us uh, to jump in there right now because we've uh, yeah, respected this embargo, like the, the situation for so long, right? Um, so Sagittarion continues to enforce its military embargo despite recent attacks on its civilian population. Rogue Sagittarion militants are considered unfriendly. Cylon forces responsible for the attack should still be in orbit, suppress resistance and retrieve chemical agents for analysis by Picon Medical. For that we get the Minotaur blueprint, whatever that is, and an EMP generator blueprint and 720 petroleum and 1050 requisition points. So, that's fine. Uh, uh, sorry. And let's end the episode here. That was the wrong button, sorry. Uh, let's end the episode here and then next turn we will see. Oh, actually we can end the turn here, right? So we don't have anything else. Jumping there. Going in. Okay, and then there at Sagittarion. We want to do this Battlestar one Group right, is so. under attack. Aha. That is a stronger fleet. 4,950 points. Jumping in here. Okay. For Wilbert. No, that's over here. Um, yeah. But what happens next, my dear fellow fleet commanders? We will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Let's continue on next time. Um, I would appreciate if you click the like button. Share your thoughts in the comment section. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, so you never ever miss an episode again. And support me a little, little bit by that. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye-bye.